Oh, what's up guys? You know what time it is? Time for another Snap-on Tool Hall. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. Picked up some uh, pretty cool stuff, a new uh, snap-on tool. Warm weather's coming, guys. Right around the corner, AC season's coming. Try to beef up the, the tool list. Had a couple warm days last week. So snap-on guy came in Thursday. You guys know snap-on days Thursday around here. Just wanna run through a couple new snap-on tools that I got. So it was a kind of a, a light load this week. You know, I've been grabbing up uh, probably more tools than I should have these last couple of weeks because of that dream drive but you know it's kind of time to slow down kick it back a little bit and just uh, you know go on to the normal buying and all that stuff something new comes out you know something fancy something I need to replace something with something I want to do on a giveaway you know we'll cut back on buying tools at least for me but uh, the first one pretty excited about it's pretty new we got the part number ACT 900 and it's actually the new uh, leak detector or you know AC sniffer I like to call them but uh, I mean this thing I took it out of the box this thing looks pretty cool got a couple upgrades from the last model um, you know of course I had to play around with it a little bit it's still cold here we might have had some warm days it's still cold now so it's not like we get customers in every day worrying about their AC but it's coming I mean I, I bought the Freon and everything I'm stocking up getting ready to go probably gonna retire my old AC sniffer maybe do it on a giveaway so you guys stay tuned and uh, you know, get it up for this one. This one does detect the R1334A. It does do the R1234YF. Um, you know, all blends, but it's definitely got some pretty cool features. Got the UV on there, uh, bigger screen. And also notice it's got a three-year warranty on here. It says on the box. On the website, it actually says two-year warranty, but hey, it says three on here, so I'll go by what it says on here, whatever's longer, right? Um, dual mode heated sensor. Patent UV, color graphic LCD with messages, heated sensor technology, long life sensor with two year warranty. So it says two year on here too, rugged construction. But let's crack this bad boy open, see what's in the box. I know it comes with batteries. It had uh, four AA batteries. I actually installed in there already. Got the pamphlet, wow, this book's actually pretty big. Um, maybe I'll run through it. I'm pretty familiar with these AC sniffers, so but you know, a lot of light, boring reading. Maybe, maybe if I'm bored one day, I'll read it. Yeah, right. But it comes with some industrial energizer batteries. That's nice to see. You know, they don't mess around. These are, I think, lithium. Um, what kind of batteries are these? Alkaline batteries. That's what I was. That's the word I was looking for. So four energizers come in there. Um, probably some dye. I think I saw in here that was dye. Yeah, dye that. You know, I'll, I'll probably never use anything else in there. Nothing else in there. That's pretty much it. You got the foam padding in it. Little honeycomb foam padding up top. And then here's the unit itself. It's actually pretty big. Um, I mean, that's a, that's a pretty big unit. I think this, uh, that's what she said. This is about 17 long on here. As far as, uh, you know, the unit to the tip of the probe. It's got... Uh, I think this is rubberized now. It looks like it's got a slim line sniffer at the end here. You obviously have to calibrate these things. But here, let's turn it on. I think it's got a warm up time. We'll do a tools in action on this thing, guys, when it starts to warm up. Let's power it up. ACT 900 snap on. We'll fly through this. Let's fast forward through this, guys. All right, guys, so a couple of the features that it has here. You got the uh, audible beep on and off. It's got a search mode. It's on high there. You got low, medium, you got auto, and then you could clear the calibration or adjust it. And then you go to the grafting screen. 
I got the little die there. You can see that it's zeroed out there. Let's get the die close to the, the tip here. You can see how sensitive this thing is. If you get spike up as soon as it touches the die, so you'll know when you get close to the leak and all that. So it does work. You got a little battery gauge up top, tell you how much battery's life. I don't know with four AA batteries or whatever, I can't see this thing being on for very long with a heater, motor, lights on it and all that stuff. Probably be switching out batteries like crazy the more you use this. But it's got a nice rubberized handle on it. It's obviously that snap-on hard plastic. You know it's build quality. I mean, I like it. Serial number, there's a little speaker on the back for the audible beep. Um, and then just the screws in the bottom part. This thing will stand up on its own. It doesn't have any magnetic base or anything like that, but you know it does stand up. Nice color, full color screen. And then you could reset it by doing this. Hit the reset, and then it'll reset the gauge for you. But all in all, pretty nice. Has a little protective film thing on here, but pretty decent. Shuts right off. Pretty nice here. The fan turn off. These tips are removable, they're replaceable. You could just unscrew them, put a new tip on if this thing gets damaged or smashed or you get too much crud inside there. Sometimes, you know, they're a pain in the butt to wash and keep clean. You always gotta make sure you keep your tip clean. <laughs> but that's that. That's the first one on here. Gotta get ready. I really dig the blow molded case too. It's a nice case. Like I said, guys, part number on that one Oh, like I said, guys, part number on that one, ATC 900. All right, guys, and then the next one I got is actually to, to get more of these cases and obviously beef up my, uh, you know, pressure gauge set and all that stuff and kind of go along with and complement the rest of the stuff I got. But I actually had a car in here the other day that I needed this. Um, it was, it was on the same, it was on Thursday, so I figured I'd pick this thing up just to make my job easier, but I ended up figuring out before Snap-on Guy even got here. But I figured for next time, you know, this I wanted this on the list, and uh, I just had to get it. So there's still about one more in the kit that I want to get, so we'll put that on the wish list. But part number on this one, EEPV507, it's the oil pressure gauge set. And believe it or not, this set, but same typical case design, just like the rest of them, gives you a part list, kind of what's in there and all that. This thing has a lot of adapters, and of course your little pamphlet, instructions, and all that. And this is the same blow molded case as all the other ones I got. If you guys follow the channel, I kind of went through them. Um, most of them I've used. These gauges are real accurate. I like the rubberized protectant on it. I like them when they're new. When they get dirty, it tends to bother me, but that's just me. That's why I like to keep my tools clean. But it's got a lot of adapters on here. I mean, I could see them all. I could see uh, Ford, GM, Chrysler, Honda. Um, you know, they got them all in here. I could see even a little adapters. I'm surprised there's not the elbow one in here, but nice little cavities for each of them. They even got like an expansion one. If you get some specialized ones or diesel ones or anything like that, you could pop them in here. Um, but I dig it. It's definitely nice. And then this is removable. Real long hose on this thing so you can get away from the hot motor or, you know, around anything because you guys know they put those oil switches and pretty rough to get to spots so and then it is quick connect just like everything else but I'm definitely digging it definitely nice kit and then you would just switch out the little adapters on each one you probably don't even need uh, Teflon tape or anything like that you know as long as it doesn't leak you're just getting a you know a quick uh, reading on it they come with the little seals on here but definitely a nice kit I think I picked this thing up for maybe 150 bucks on special. Can't beat it. And then I'll add it to the arsenal of uh, all my other blow molded cases like this pressure gauge sets that I got. Still got to get the uh, the trans one. Uh, I might pick up the motorcycle one. I don't know. We'll see. And then uh, maybe the adapters, the long adapter ones or something, and then just add on to the rest of them. So. But most of these are the same. Obviously, this one, this one, that's the same gauge, just differently. You know, you got a hose on it. That one's more or less for overhead, and it comes with a hose here. So, well, really, it'd be that one or this one. So, but the next one on the list is probably going to be that one, EEPV 508. So, got it, got it, got it, uh, got it, got it. Still, that's the compression gauge number two with adapters. Maybe I'll just buy the set, but 
nice kits guys and then I got the master fuel line kit maybe we'll even get the cleaner I got a nice cleaner already so maybe in the future we'll upgrade that one too so and that's the other one all right guys so I'm wrap this one up and scat up out of here you guys uh, need any part numbers you didn't catch them in the video let me know you know leave it down in the description I'll leave you part numbers on any adapters if they're single adapters on the list you guys just leave me a comment below I'll get you guys part numbers and all that stuff I still got to find a place to put all these I'm actually rearranging the box I got the rest of them sitting here on the tire balance I got to keep moving them around every time I use the tire balance machine but toolbox tour coming soon guys I just kind of reorganizing stuff taking stuff home seeing what we're gonna be doing on giveaways and stuff tools we'll be doing on giveaways but I'm working on it guys you guys have seen a toolbox tour coming real soon so as always guys thanks for stopping by like comment subscribe hit up toolheadscrate.com for your toolheads subscription crate service big stuff happening we'll catch you guys in the next one signing out